Hi there. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to set up a bow where you shoot arrows. Um, this same concept would work with crossbow, would work with uh, just about any weapon, uh, UFPS weapon that uses a projectile. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go on the, um, on the forums and grab this script um, so that we don't have the errors with um, the handler going off. We're going to use uh, we're going to use this script on our arrows. Um, next thing I did was I grabbed this uh, longbow pack just so I could have uh, animation to use, and I actually grabbed this um, Erica archer with bow and arrow. I also used this FPS mesh tool by Code Bison Games so I could uh, get just the arms. So after I, uh, I just imported the whole pack, um, I unzipped it. And then each of these, I changed them to Legacy. Uh, really, I only ended up using, I think I used the standing, so I used the standing draw arrow and I used the standing disarm. Those are the only two. Um, animations that I used. So really you only need the, the disarm and the standing draw disarm if you want to uh, do it the way I did it. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that you set up a rig. Uh, the other thing I did was I grabbed this uh, arrow mesh and I created, uh, basically I just went create empty and then I added the components so that I could have a mesh. Um, so I did the mesh filter. So you go mesh filter and then you just grab the, the arrow. And then I did a, a mesh render and I grabbed the bow material, the bow material I think it was. Oh, the bow diff, yep. So I grab that material and basically you've got a arrow. Uh, so from there I took the, um, this one right here, the Erica Archer, and basically I renamed it. See, it's got the arrow down there at her feet. I moved the arrow, um, actually you turn off the eyelashes, they look terrible. Um, I took the, that arrow mesh that I made and I actually put it in her hand. So sorry, I skipped a step, but I, um, I took, I took the, that mesh and then I used the FPS mesh tool to um, break it up so I have the different materials. Um, so if you look at the body, see there's three different materials and I just put the, um, I just made the, the first two invisible and I kept this last one, which is just the arms. Um, so I did the same thing here. I just put the invisible material there and the bow I left as is. And then the arrow itself. I'm trying to there so that arrow um, mesh that I created I just put it right here on the right hand and those are my settings uh, so you can pause and copy there and then uh, from there I created a new script and I put the script right here it's a visibility basically what it does so notice I'm just looking at these two um, animations. So the script is relatively short. Um, sorry, let me. Okay, so this script, it's relatively short script. Um, basically, it's I've got a spot for the arrow. Uh, it doesn't matter what you call this. Um, and right here I'm grabbing the event handler and I'm going to register um, this object so that I can listen for, you know, this on attempt fire. 
Um, so when the object enables, it uh, turn the able arrow on. When it's off, uh, on disable, it does it off. So I have a public script. The arrow on, basically all it does is set the error, game object. Uh, it shows the game object, and right here it just makes it false. So on the animations is where I'm calling that. So if I look at the animation there. So um, if I look at the disarm right here, I added a um, event and I just typed, I just looked at the arrow off. And then I did the same thing for the draw arrow. So when the animation starts, it's going to be off. But when you get to, so the arrow, the arrow would be off. And then when you get right there, it's going to call arrow on. So on the hero, I just duplicated the machine gun and called it five bow. I grabbed that, uh, I'm using that bow with arms only that I just set up as uh, the renderer. Um, I left a lot of the settings the same. I changed the position springs where it looked right. So if you want to copy mine, it's negative 0.12, negative 1.49, and negative 0.02. And the rotation, okay, I did negative 2.3, negative 2.6, and 0 0.3. On um, the animation, so wield, I'm doing the draw arrow, and unwield would be the disarm. And I made it a two-hand firearm. And for the states, I think I blanked them all out. Yeah, basically I blanked all of them out um, to keep it simple. Uh, for the sounds, uh, machine gun, wield, and unwield. This one sounds terrible. You probably want to use something else. Um, I think there was a melee. Eh, anyways. And then for the uh, the sound over here, I did the melee swing and the animation. I used the disarm, so basically the bow pulls down. And then uh, over here on the reload, I do the draw arrow. I created a new item identifier. I just duplicated the um, machine gun one, called it a bow, and then I duplicated the bullet and called it an arrow. So you see the arrow, and that way I can have pickups and stuff. For the projectile, so I set my rate at 1, uh, the arrow itself. Basically, I took the original one um, that I created up here. I duplicated it, and then I added a rigid body component, gave it a mass of 1, continuously dynamic, Turn gravity off. You leave it on if you want. It'll give it uh, physics. I added the inherited grenade script. I uh, set a lifetime of 4 and 50. Added a box collider around it instead of a mesh collider. And I'll show you this part in a minute. Um, so that's the setup for that. Now I figure why not drop an arrow whenever you shoot an arrow. So right here I made a pickup. So for the pickup, basically what I did is I found one of the um, pickups that already exists. Um, like that one for instance. Um, which is the ammo, pickup pistol ammo. I just duplicated it and I created this um, pickup arrow. Um, so it's a little bit different though. Um, I've left all of this the same. I changed my item to arrow. So this is the arrow that I created right there. Um, I didn't change any of the sound. I turned this responder off. 
I gave it a rigid body because I want it to drop to the ground. Just a really low mass, 0 0.01, using gravity continuous. I turned off the rotation. And then I created a child. And the reason I did this because I just wanted a collider. So I just created a mesh collider so that the arrow basically won't fall through the floor. If this collider is on the pickup, it's going to automatically uh, turn it off, I believe. So I made it a child, just create an empty and then a child and gave it the mesh. Um, I could have done the box collider. Uh, so basically, whenever you shoot, um, it will um, leave an arrow. So if I come over right here, let me blow that up. So if I come over here, there's an arrow on the ground. And my, I've got 48. Now if I walk further, I've got 49. And uh, that's it. So I'm using it exactly like a, um, a weapon. And when I shoot, you can see it kind of, it actually shoots the arrow. You can see the uh, shadow go. So wherever it hits, it's going to drop it. Um, there may be times when it falls through the ground. And for some reason, I cannot kill that um, right there. See, I'm hitting it, but it, I don't know why I'm not able to get rid of it. It's kind of weird. So you can see I pick these arrows up. And that's it. This would work exactly the same with um, crossbow. Um, basically, this is just a projectile that's going out. I'm basically using the grenade you know, script for this projectile. And I set the spread pretty low, so it's accurate. And uh, let's see, anything else? Tap firing rate, one. Uh, didn't really do anything with the muzzle. I turned my muzzle flash off. Got rid of the, well, I didn't turn it off, but I got rid of it. And I got rid of the shell prefab because you're not gonna have a shell. And then all these sounds, I just use the sounds that come with it. Um, I left those states the same. So that's it. That's the quick, quick and dirty, um, how I set it up. Um, if we look at it over here from, it's not going to look right in third person. So if I look at them, say the head and the arms are, are there, the arms are there. And that's it. And notice I, I couldn't get the bow. There's not a, a, a rig for the bow. So hopefully you have a better bow so this uh, the string doesn't show. But this was a quick, quick video. I uh, hope it helps somebody. All right. Thanks.